are finding you. You're promoting people to binge watch your content. Being searchable is just extremely important. The power of YouTube is the search engine. Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Zach Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Tap that subscribe button so that you don't miss anything coming up. And if you've been rock with me for a minute, what's up, what's good, and welcome back. Today is Small Talk Saturdays. During Small Talk Saturdays, we discuss topics that are important to us on this channel. And as you know, June and July has been all about YouTube. And I'm just gonna keep the YouTube party going because it seems like y'all have been enjoying it. I still have a, a few more ideas that I wanna talk about for this series, so yeah. Looks like you'll be seeing it in August too. Now, if you haven't checked out my other videos in this series, the playlist is linked in my description box. Check out all those videos where I talk about how to grow a YouTube channel, how to increase engagement, my top 10 mistakes, new features on YouTube. Check it out. There's been a wealth of information given by yours truly. So today we're gonna dive into analytics. How to read your analytics in 2020. I want this to be a beginner's guide to analytics because I realized that some people are actually intimidated by the analytics tab on YouTube. And it's actually extremely helpful because it tells you exactly what you need to know in order to basically provide and produce better content. So if you're ready to see how to read your analytics in 2020, keep on watching. And I know y'all see that an ad is about to pop up. I'd really appreciate it if you let it play. Thank you. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we are just going to dive right into my analytics and I'm just going to explain to you what different things mean within the analytics tab. So how do you get to your analytics tab? Basically, when you're on your main page here, your main homepage for your YouTube channel, you click YouTube studio here and it will bring up the general dashboard. Oh, you see those little confetti over there? That's a good thing. That means that my latest video is ranking number one right now as far as my recent videos. Due to the views, I have 1100 views, which is great because my typical range is between those during this time. And my click-through rate is at 8.1%, which is definitely on the higher end. Just so you know, your click-through rate is the percentage of times that a person clicks on your video due to your thumbnail and your title, basically. Normally, four to five percent is considered good, but you definitely wanna aim higher than that. So for me to have 8.1% on this last video makes me super happy. All right, so back here, we're in the dashboard and you'll get notifications. You see I had a copyright claim here, but I fixed it, I deleted the video. And that happens to me sometimes with due to my music, but I usually have that as a draft. We have news reports here, like for example, mid-roll ads are coming to eight minute videos, which is really important for those making money through AdSense. This shows my subscriber count. It shows my summary for the past 28 days. Shows some of my latest comments, my latest posts here. So your general dashboard just gives you a general overview, right? On the side here, you can click videos, to see all of your channel videos and you know just general stats on them you can see playlists here and it'll show you all of your different playlists and other playlists that you save for yourself and here we have the analytics tab so once i click that you get the overview this tells you how your channel is doing overall in general for the past x amount of time so you'll see here that it says last 28 days, but I can change that. I can change it to 90, 365. I can see how my channel has been doing since it first started. And just so you know, I started my channel about a year and a half ago, January 21st, 2019. You can see by year. So right now, overall, my channel for this month, for the past 28 days, has garnered this amount of views, this amount of watch time, this amount of subscribers, which is a little bit less than usual, which is a little bit less than usual, and I do know why that is, and it also tells me my estimated revenue. And also even, this is new, it gives you an explanation as to why your views might be lower than usual, and it also say you can have some tips for how to get that up. So that is just a quick snapshot of your channel. Now we're gonna dive into some more detail. We are gonna go to the Reach tab. This is some important information here. Your impressions, okay? And all you have to do is just slide over to get a definition of what each term means, right? So it tells you, impressions is how many times your thumbnail was shown to viewers, right? On YouTube, it shows you on YouTube. So in general, my thumbnails were shown 497,000 times. And then here, if I go to the click-through rate, 
That means out of those 497,000 times, what percentage of people actually click the thumbnail? And like I said, to have anywhere between four to 5% on an average is considered good, but you always wanna aim for higher. It also says my views are at 41,000 and unique viewers, if you tab over here, that means the amount of people that watch during a selected date range, which I said you can always change here. Now let's scroll down because we have some important information that you really, really need to know. Traffic source types. Traffic source types tells you exactly where you are getting your views from, where you're getting your impressions from. And that's important to know because you want to know how people are finding you. YouTube search, 27%. YouTube search is literally people who find you on YouTube. Browse features are usually from the YouTube homepage, from the subscription page. You have channel pages, which means these are the people that find you from someone else's channel. So let's say you're watching Jackie Aina, and then you know how at the end of the video you have like 20 different videos that pop up that you can click on? If someone clicks on your video, that counts as a view for channel pages. And then you have suggested videos. Suggested videos are the videos that pop up on the side panel and they are suggested to you by YouTube based on what you search for on a daily basis, based on your browsing history, etc. on YouTube. And then you have external traffic sources, which could be from anywhere outside of YouTube. So literally you can click down here and see more to get a more detailed view of where your views are coming from. Like I see for me, I have 11,000 views in the past 28 days that have come from YouTube search. And I have about 10,000 from browse features. Based on looking at this alone, this tells me that in the past 28 days, my top traffic source right now is YouTube search. That means people are typing in whatever keyword and they're finding me. Well, this is a good thing because I think, especially as a new YouTuber, you want to target YouTube search. You want to make sure that your title, your tag, and your description box are optimized so that you can be found in search. The power of YouTube is the search engine. Remember, YouTube is the second largest search engine right under Google because Google owns YouTube. Okay, that's the hierarchy. And being searchable is just extremely important and an advantage to have. So I'm happy with being found through YouTube search. And if you click here, it will actually tell you the keywords where people have been finding me for the last 28 days. So look here, is that your hair? <laughs> I've gotten a few views from that. I'll trade Julianne wig. I know that video did well for my channel. I've gotten a few views from that. Now I can click here and go to lifetime just because I'm curious, what are some keywords that have helped me come up on YouTube search just over the span of my entire channel? Now when I click lifetime, I have different keywords that come up. I still have is that your hair come up, but I also have bang wig, wig with bangs, brisa wig. And I know that's because I have one of my very first videos that ended up doing well later on. I'm sure that's because of that search, Nisha203. My channel focuses on wig reviews, so all of this makes sense. And when it comes to doing YouTube search, I think I'm doing a good job targeting that. And looking at that traffic source tells me that. Okay, so I'm gonna exit out of here really quick. And I'm also going to show you another important feature, browse features. So over here, it shows you homepage, subscriptions, from watch later, from watch history. The main two features from the browse features are the homepage and the subscription feed. If you are popping up on the homepage, there's a very likely chance that YouTube is suggesting your content. And the way that it works is YouTube will suggest your content at first to a small group of people on YouTube. And if it sees that it's gaining traction, it will then expand and suggest your content to a lot of people. And that's how people go viral. Yes, people can start the process of being seen through YouTube search, but when it comes to going viral, nine times out of 10, it's because YouTube is suggesting your content. For example, in 2019, one of my videos went viral and this is the results in 2019. 90% of that traffic came from YouTube recommending my content, which is crazy. So being able to show up on the home feed is really, really important. If you look here under suggested videos, you see, let me see. These are all my videos here. This is basically telling me that my videos are suggesting my content, 
which is good. That's great that my videos are pushing you towards more of my content. That's showing YouTube that my content is binge worthy and worthy of being suggested to others. Now the last traffic source I'll check out here is channel pages. And like I said, channel pages are when people find your content at the end of someone's video and all those boxes come up where you can choose different videos. If they click on your video, that is a point towards channel pages. So as you can see here, my top three are coming from myself, from Kyra Sean. Hey Kai, that's my YouTube best friend. And Mika, Wigs to Wasteland. So that means when their videos are playing, my videos are are popping up at the end of their videos. So that's awesome because we're all within the same niche. So we're just over here recommending each other. It's all cyclical. That's great that more people that are interested in my content are able to find me through those other channels. So those are the main traffic sources internally, like on YouTube. But there is also a section down here for external traffic sources. And as you can see, this month, Facebook clearly is the main external traffic source, 46 0.3%. And that's due to the fact that when I post a video, I also post it externally to Facebook groups and I do get traffic from people clicking on the links in those posts. So that's why you see that I get traffic from there. And that's an awesome thing because YouTube loves seeing that you're getting external traffic from somewhere else. The more eyes YouTube has on the platform, the better for YouTube. That is the MO. They want to keep gain, garner as many people on the YouTube platform as possible. Now down here we have, you know, how my suggested videos are doing, YouTube search and playlists. And they also talk about my impressions. But what I wanna go into next is engagement here. And you'll see what your top videos are doing for the last 20 days, your top videos by end screen, your top playlist. And for me, this makes total sense because I promote these three playlists in like almost every single one of my videos. And that's what you should be doing. You should be promoting playlists because again, you're promoting people to binge watch your content, which YouTube likes to see. And also here you see your average view duration, which is two minutes and 36 seconds, which is okay, but we're gonna get into view duration in a second. I'm gonna click on audience now, right? It shows me how many subscribers I've gained in the past month, which has gone down 24%, but that's okay because we're working on it. <laughs> and here, this is super important because these areas are new. It shows you when your viewers are on YouTube. So as you can see here, if I look down, it says on Thursday at 1 p.m., many of your viewers are on YouTube. But then if I scroll down further, it says here, very many are on at 5 p.m. The darker purple it gets, the more people that are on ready to watch your content. So typically for me, you, you'll notice that I typically post content later in the day because that's when more people are on watching my content. That's when my subscribers tend to be on. But for you, it might be different. So it's important to recognize that. Also, I noticed the subscriber bell notifications, it literally tells you who has turned on notifications for your channel, and of those people who turn those notifications on, it tells you who actually has YouTube notifications enabled. So this is why you see people saying, subscribe to my channel, turn your notification bell, because the sooner you know about our content, the sooner you can watch, the sooner that you can comment and like, and all that pushes us out there on the YouTube algorithm and it works in our favor. So if you haven't subscribed yet, if you haven't hit that notification bell, I suggest you do that right now. Now let's scroll down here. Watch time from subscribers. I'm actually really happy with this because mine has gone up in the past month or two. So the percentage of people watching my content right now is 48.8%. And I remember when that number was like 25%, 30%. So the fact that it's actually almost at 50% makes me so, so happy. So to all of you who are subscribed and have been watching, thank you so much. And the percentage that are not subscribed are at 50%. Of course, ideally you want that number to get higher, but based on what I've heard from other people, this is like the typical range is between 30 to 40, 45%. So I think I'm in a good spot with that. Over here, it tells you your audience. You know, my main audience is between 25 and 44 years old. And that's great to know because if you wanna work with brands, they like to know that type of information, your demographics. 
Now that we talked about analytics in general, I do want to dive into my recent video and show you how I read my analytics. So starting here, I'm in my recent video I posted like almost 24 hours ago, and I see that I have about 1,200 views. My audience retention is at a 36.1%, which is great for me because my goal is to reach 40% hopefully consistently on each video. I haven't been able to do that yet, but it's coming. I feel it because for my past few videos, I've definitely been reaching the 30% and up mark. So that's been awesome. So 36% is great. It's showing me my real time activity here. It's showing me my top traffic sources. Browse features is at 49.1%. So that tells me that my video is showing up on people's home pages, which is what I want. And also, if you look at this graph here, this graph, the blue line is how your video is performing currently. And it, the gray area is showing you your typical velocity. So as you can see here, in the first nine hours and 30 minutes, I had 870 views when typically I have between 470 and 660. And for me, I noticed that because I know when I'm getting more views than usual on a set video within 24 hours. So I was happy to see that yesterday. <laughs> so this is a good sign because right now the gap is getting larger as it goes up, which means I'm hoping this video continues to do well and better than other videos that I've put out. Go to reach here. You see my, my click through rate is 8% and we like we like that click through rate because that means out of the 6,000 people that have actually seen my thumbnail pop up, 8% have clicked the thumbnail. And remember, 4 to 5% is good, but over that is great. And down here, you see my traffic source. The main one right now is Facebook, 68%. And I did get quite a bit of commentary when I posted it in one of the Facebook groups, so I know where that traffic is coming from. And I do post my links on Instagram, so I got a little bit of traffic from there. When I go under audience, I see that 72% of people watched that were subscribed and 17% watched that were not subscribed. That makes me happy that a lot of people that are subscribed to me are watching. However, I do want to get more out there into the YouTube world. And if this is a video that YouTube actually suggested to people more, the number of not subscribed would probably go up initially until they subscribe. So. It just depends on what happens. And then over here, you can see the revenue. Now, CPM, I just wanna go over that really quickly. CPM means cost per meal. That is your cost per 1,000 views. So every 1,000 views on this particular video, I will have $7.81. However, that's not the case with every video. Some videos I've had a CPM of $11, which is great. I wish those videos went viral. <laughs> So it all depends. That's why you can have a video with 100,000 views make less than a video with 50,000 views because of the CPM. It just depends. The video with 50,000 views probably had a higher CPM and thus made more money. Now I just want to show you one last thing before we end this video. Here is advanced mode, okay? So let's say you're in the overview and you're in advanced mode. You can actually compare your, your video to another video in advanced mode. So you can choose, like, let's say if I want to compare this video to like my video before that, you can look and compare the views that are received in a certain amount of time. And you can use this to compare um, impressions, for example. So for this video that I just posted, 4,000, versus 9,000, but of course this video has been out longer, so I do expect more impressions. You can also compare traffic sources, and it literally will show you like, for this recent video I posted yesterday, this is how many impressions I'm getting from Browse, from YouTube, compared to this video here that I did a few days ago. And it shows you as a bar graph as well. Very visual. I think it's pretty easy to read once you look into it. And if you click more, you can look at all these other options here. I haven't looked into all of these, but I think it's just good to know at least sharing service, which tells you how many people shared your video. The advanced mode feature is not something I see people talk about often, but I think it's good to be able to compare your videos to previous videos just to see like, okay, maybe there's something I did differently back then that I'm not doing now or vice versa. And just to kind of get an idea of how your views differ. I think that's important data to know, especially as you move forward producing content.
But yes, y'all, I hope this video gave you a nice beginner overview of what analytics are all about and some things that I look at when I view my analytics. Overall, what is important to me when I look at analytics is my click-through rate, my audience retention, my views. What else? I don't really look at the revenue like that because to me, I'm not really making a lot of money yet, but it's there. I like to glance at it here and there. But yeah, those three things are really important for me to see. And also my traffic sources and what is driving views to my channel. So just make sure you write that down and keep that in mind when you're looking at your own analytics. Now I did think about doing a video on how I've made a thousand dollars plus on Google AdSense. If that's something inter that you're interested in, let me know in the comments down below. And also I did announce that I'm doing one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you are interested in that, growing on social media, getting some more insights, some more tips, some more strategies that are specific to your channel, to your Instagram, whatever social media you see fit, let me know. Book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. I will have it in the description box and in the pinned comment. And of course, if you're new here, tap the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and join the family. And if you want to see my latest videos, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.